it's Saturday morning and we're in Barnes and they're selling Christmas trees all around here. I can't tell you how good it smells. We've got a fake one this year and I really forgot about how incredible real ones smell. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's such a wonderful scent. Oh yeah, it's the one about the I'm halfway through setting up the tree. I'm starting to feel really sad and I'm taking it out on the tree. <laughs> I think it's just it's our first tree in three years and we've just had such a hard time it's just quite a big thing to do and i'm not used to having a fake tree i've always like me and Anne have always gotten real trees when we've had them and i haven't had a fake tree in so long like i think there was a few years when i was little that we had a fake tree and it's just they're so fiddly getting all of the things let me show you they're just so fiddly like every single stem that comes off is bendy and you need to get it in the right position to make it look right and I don't think I think I've pulled them all up too much and so it's looking like a bush rather than a tree so I need to figure this out and I did start doing it with little one having a nap um which was lovely having her to cuddle whilst I did it but she's woken up so she's watching me do it now I'm talking her through everything and I can feel I'm getting annoyed with the tree and I think it's just the emotions just bubbling up I don't even remember if we have a topper for the tree so I think I'm gonna also like I've got so many presents on our table at the moment that need wrapping so I think I'm gonna get them off lay out all of the decorations see what we've got and if we don't have a tree topper I can have a look online it's a reason to shop and I've got my little helper here which definitely helps It's just a lot, of, a lot of emotions coming up but I think once I get it in a good shape hopefully I'll feel a lot better I'm like crying over a tree but this is grief it just comes out in weird ways like some days you can be absolutely fine and you just stub your toe and it sets you off on a whole trail of things so I just need to stick with this and getting it looking nice but this time of year can be so difficult <laughs> for so many of us. Okay, it's done. Decorated, lights are on. It only took three hours and some tears. But I just want to make it special for my littlest baby. This is like a sensory tree this year. Next year, probably it'll be sensory too for a couple of years until she can really kind of enjoy it and look at the decorations and I'm sure we'll be telling her not to pull it down <laughs> not to crawl under it and all sorts but yeah I'm pleased with it definitely want to get some more like special ornaments but we've got a good collection going for now you are right my lovey yeah is napping last nap of the day um so i'm gonna try and not get ahead of myself and talk too loudly but i thought i would take this opportunity to organize my um bathroom mirror cabinet thing it's overflowing i think like loads of stuff in here is quite old i don't really use anymore um or i might be able to organize it somewhere else so it just needs some tlc so i thought i would have you guys do it with me let me see here and then we can go through it together and if you also like beauty bits skincare body care that kind of stuff um i can maybe show you my highlights what i use a lot what i don't use what i want to use don't mind the little footsies <laughs> that are hanging up to dry um basically i'm thinking i need to organize it into like skincare bath and body and then like tools um i don't know just suddenly i didn't think i had well I never had time for this stuff when little one was first born. She is five months tomorrow um, and I feel like I'm starting to get the time to be able to do it. The last few weeks I've been able to add more and more into my skincare of like, not in terms of steps, I still really have like short cleanse, moisturise, that's really it. Um, 
but I am managing to do it more and more. I'm not going to tell you I do it every day. I don't, but I feel like I might be reaching the point where I can start doing it, like, if not every day, then every other day. And then maybe also getting to a point where I can stick a mask on. Like now, she's napping with daddy. Um, she's in the carrier because we just went on a walk and she's still asleep, so we're keeping her asleep in there. So it's a perfect opportunity to do this. Um, and yeah, get it organised. So, first up, this doesn't actually fit in there. This is in my other cupboard in the bedroom, and so I need to really figure out how to fit it in here because I think it's nice to be able to do this kind of thing after the shower. I'm going to be more likely to do it if it's in here after the shower. That being said, um, moisturising my body isn't a priority, it's a luxury um, in terms of the time I have at the moment. But this is the um, Beauty Pie, is it going to focus? Yeah, the Beauty Pie, oh it's barely focusing, sorry guys, my camera is so old at this point it doesn't know what to do with itself. Okay, focus is not wanting to focus. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin. It's the same range, I love this range from Beauty Pie. It's the same range as the body wash I use. I'm over halfway through um, and I want to get this finished soon because I opened it up a while ago so I need to get that finished. It smells so good. When I was having my baby, little one, which I love how because I call her little one so often you guys are starting to call her little one in the comments which is really sweet. But when I was having her, I've mentioned this before, but I got admitted um, two and a half weeks before she was born um, into hospital. Um, just because of our high risk nature of reoccurrence with what happened with our first baby um, and that was a really difficult experience I'm sure you can imagine how incredibly stressful that was I was like away from home I was terrified it was going to happen again it was honestly just horrible so I took some of my beauty products with me um, I say lucky enough it's not lucky any of the situation but I I guess it is lucky because some healthcare situations don't do this, but I had my own room, um, it's called a side room on the NHS because of the high risk nature and then also because of the trauma I'd been through and also the amount of monitoring I needed, it was just decided that it was better for me to be in my own room, especially with a long stay as well. Don't know if all hospitals do that, but mine did. So I had my own um, like shower and bathroom attached to my room. So I had like a routine every day of what I would do and part of it was making sure I used things like this. So now when I smell this, like, this is such a comforting smell to me because it's been my body wash for like a year and a half. And then also using the body moisturiser for that long. I love it. It has like a really light um, citrusy scent to it. But I don't even know if that's the way to explain it. I think it's got orange in it. Oh, it's just so nice. But this now reminds me of my hospital stay, but not even in a bad way. I thought I would associate that smell to it, but actually it's quite nice reminding me of when I was waiting for my baby. And then also all the memories of using it before. Scent is such a strong memory um, attachment to it, doesn't it? But I love this. I would definitely repurchase that. And then I've also got down, just because I was literally just about to start doing this when I thought I'd get my camera, my Plantastic... Um, Beauty Pie Overnight Miracle Face Oil. The other moisturiser I have is this one from Q&A, which is like a completely natural, non-toxic brand, and it's also super affordable. So if you're wanting skincare products that are like completely um, like nasty-free, Q&A is a really good one. I think I can't remember if I got this on Look Fantastic or Cult Beauty. It was one of those kind of websites super affordable super super affordable especially for one of these kind of brands where it's like non-toxic and all that stuff but this is a chamomile night cream i don't currently unless it's in here and i'm going to find it think i have a day face moisturizer but i do know my sister's giving me one for christmas so that can come at a bit of time my favorite i've repurchased this so many times and whenever i do a beauty pie order i buy multiples <laughs> As you can tell, um, I did just do a beauty pie order a couple days ago, which should be arriving this week, so I'll show you guys what I got. Um, but I didn't restock on this just because I already have stock. But this is the Je Jeju Daily Rehydration Mist. I quite like dry skin. I love this. Alan loves this too. Um, and it's a hydrating hyaluronic acid, which I think you can use breastfeeding. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that's the one I think you can use. 
although I'm not sure about the others. Um, and it's got bamboo grass and soothing cherry blossom. And this counts as a toner, I think. It's just super easy to use just to spritz your face with it. I think what I'll do is I'll clear one shelf, or maybe I should clear all of the shelves and then put it all back. Um, and then see along the way what else we find. A little clip, you know these ones. This is a rusty, that can go in the bin. You know those kind of clips? Don't know why that's there. Um, and then I've got another little clip there that can also, these look quite rusty, but they're so gross. Um, my new skin, I don't know if it's too bright for you guys to see this, my new skin activating cleanser for blemish prone skin. And I didn't know that I needed a cleanser for blemish prone skin because I don't typically get like spots, which is what I think of as like blemishes. But I do have like a lot of blocked pores, blackheads, um, and those are kind of my skin issues. And so this was recommended to me. And actually I'm finding it so good. So I'm using this cleanser at the moment with my um, Lumi Spa which is also by New Skin. This is amazing, it's very expensive, but actually so worth it. And I feel like it's making me really enjoy cleansing, which is why I've been doing it more, whereas before I just wasn't bothering. Um, no wonder I have blackheads as an issue, because I was like cleansing so sporadically, whereas now I'm starting, like I said, trying to get a routine, not managing it every day, but trying really hard. And I just really enjoy this. It's like two minutes of my time and I do feel like it's making a difference, like my nose feels so much smoother, my forehead feels smoother, my chin, those are, it's like that kind of area that I struggle with. Um, I just feel like I'm cleansing more efficiently. It feels so relaxing like a massage and I'm just really enjoying it. So that's one of my devices done because I feel like they kind of go as a pair um, and I'm really liking using those. And then I've got this, which I really need to use. My friend Niche sent me this. She also has a YouTube channel, so I'll link it in the description box below if you also want to see another Londoner's view on life in London. Um, but she sent me this. This is the Disciple um, Downtime Mist. And I believe it has CPD um, in it. Really big apologies if I'm wrong there. But I think it has CPD and that's why I haven't used it yet because again she sent me this when I was pregnant and so I need to check on this one if I can use that breastfeeding. Um, tweezers, I've had these tweezer man tweezers for probably about 10 years. Um, this is a new one for me, this is from my sister for my birthday, it's the Epoch Baobab Body Butter, Body Butter. Um, and Epoch is a range we use for um, our little one. It's like, again, kind of just like more gentle, not got chemicals. And apparently this is a really good body butter for um, like scarring and stretch marks um, and things like that. So I thought it may be worth trying generally on my skin. I'm not really too bothered. I actually, I really like my stretch marks on my stomach for my babies. And my scar for my C-section is really mild compared to what I've had some people get. Um, it's not keloid or anything like that, but it has only been just nearly five months. So maybe that will still happen, but I thought it'd still be nice to use, um, maybe on my scar to see if that just keeps it kind of well and not sore. Sometimes it still hurts. Um, so I thought I'd try that. I asked for it for my sister, from my sister for my birthday, so I need to try this. Um, it's nice to have like a little moisturizer to use for that. Um, this is my makeup remover. You can see I've used barely any because I barely wear any makeup. But this is the Lumini Pure Arctic Miracle 3 in 1 Cleansing Micellar Water. So I would just use this to take my makeup off with like a cotton pad. I'm halfway through, this is really good I'm doing this actually because I can get some of these things out more. But I'm halfway through a mirror water um, body oil. This is Estee Lalonde's brand. Mm, it smells really good. I got this and then also the body scrub um, quite a while ago. I'm halfway through this. I finished the body scrub. Yeah, I finished the body scrub. Need to finish this. This is lovely. It's kind of like a woody scent, I think is how you would describe it. Um, and that's a really nice body oil. Would recommend. I've got another beauty pie item. I could not find this anywhere in the summer and it was just tucked behind all of my bits here, so that's good to know. This is the Beauty Pie Feather Light UVA UVB SPF 50 sunscreen. And then I've got my Nama Studios Care um, for, it's the aftercare for tattoo removal. One you use for the first week afterwards and the other one you use until your next appointment, so I've got those. 
full of steam and I drop everything. This is my um, face cleaning eye thing. And then I've also got this one, which I've had for years. But I just thought this one was funny. And sometimes you just need humour in your day. Um, I'll keep both of those, but I'm actually going to put those under the sink because they don't need to be up here. And then I'm actually going to sort out this top shelf first. This is my other tool. This is a body brush. Again, not used this for a very long time, but want to start getting back into body brushing. It's really good for getting rid of dry skin. It's good for lymphatic drainage. And I actually think I read that it's good for um, helping your body, like, um, detox maybe is not the right word. I guess that's what the lymphatic drainage is good for. But yeah, loads of benefits to dry brushing the body. I did it a lot after my mum died um, and it became a huge part of my routine in the evenings just to help me settle a bit. Um, but I need to start doing that again because dry brushing is a really, really nice thing to do. Um, that's it really for like tools that I use. Um, it's just really these two. Actually, I know I was going to put this with my other bits of skincare. Oh, and then I also have a gua sha. What else do I have up here? I'm finding all sorts. I've got another, <laughs> another gua sha. Is it called a gua sha? I think so. Um, the only other thing I think I'm going to get in terms of like a tool for facial, um, like facial, like skincare, body care, is I saw Beauty Pie. They're completely out of stock, but they have a red light. You know those like face masks people have where it's like red light therapy they're meant to be incredible for your skin but they're very expensive like normally like two three hundred four hundred pounds but beauty pie if you're a member um i'm sure you guys have heard of beauty pie but basically if you have a membership you get really high quality beauty um and skincare items basically hugely discounted because everyone's membership is kind of making up the cost it's a genius business model and definitely worth looking into. When I first heard about it, I wasn't sure. But actually, apart from that cleanser, everything I've tried from Beauty Pie, I really, really like. And I've got some new bits coming this week, which I can't wait to try, which I know I mentioned. But I think I will maybe for Christmas treat myself to the red light therapy mask if they come back in stock on Beauty Pie because um, they're selling it. I think it's like £99 or something, which is an incredible price. And I think it's something that me and Alan will both really like and it's just like a nice little self-care moment for us and i think it's nice when my little one is sleeping um i think it's nice to do little bits of self-care for myself which i rarely do <laughs> but like i said i am starting to get more time to be able to do that and i should probably start using these again too because i think i'm holding quite a bit of retention because this part of my chin just I notice is really quite stubborn. I've got my Fable and Main um, hair oil. I've asked Alan to get me the big size of this for Christmas because I really really like it and I'm just trying to keep the rest of my hair as healthy as possible whilst it's falling out. Keep what I have left healthy and I have maybe half of this left but it's good to kind of have stock. I really like that hair oil. Um, I then have this for flyaways because I have crazy frizzy hair um, and I do quite like this. I think now my hair's a bit longer. I'll probably get more use out of it. Um, it's the Larry King um, Hair Care Satin Finishing Cream and it comes with this brush and there's like a comb on one side and a bristly bit on the other and then you just put some of the cream and then you can like comb the flyaways down. Really good. I like that. Um, I used to get my hair cut at Larry King actually and incredible like the hairdressers there are so good i've been shopping it's my coping strategy at the moment don't pass judgment i'll deal with it in the new year i wish i could show you this i got alan such a good christmas present oh i've just realized i probably can't even talk about it do you know what i'll just make sure he doesn't watch this will he watch it though he hasn't usually watched my videos but then the last two weeks he's wanted to watch them Okay, I'm just not going to show you guys, just in case. Um, but the first thing is, ooh, it's Little One's new light toy, which I'm going to put away for Christmas, but I think she'll really like this because at Baby Sensory, when they have the lights on the ceiling, she absolutely loves it. I got this on TikTok. Um, it's basically, it's really small. Um, it's this tiny little astronaut. You can, like 
take off his head. And if you guys can see, is it going to focus? And then the the projector of the lights, I think, comes through his helmet, and it like lights up all of the ceiling, and it's got a remote control. This is really good. This is like eight or nine pounds. Um, so I'll put that away for Christmas. I think she's going to really love that. I'm not doing very well at keeping the presents away until Christmas because you know sometimes we need a new activity, and I have a cupboard full of Christmas presents. <laughs> Do I need scissors or something to open this? Where are my keys? You can hear my little princess having a good chit chat. She's talking to a snail <laughs> on her playmat whilst they just do this because these boxes have been sitting here for a few days now. So, this is exciting. Oh, it's all wrapped individually. I think this might be their like Christmas wrapping. It's really nice. So, first up, my Holy Grail. The super skin, super healthy skin body wash. Then I got from the same range the super healthy uh, hair treatment. Come here, Muffin. Come here, you cheeky chops. Come here, you cheeky chops. Right, this one is majorly losing a sock. <laughs> but that must feel so annoying, actually. I'll take them off. I'm going to go put her in her pyjamas in a little bit anyway. So, I got the super healthy, skin, uh, super healthy hair hair mask. I'm looking forward to trying this. Really nice pot as well. And then, this is my other body wash. You're showing everyone your little footsies. Oh, okay, this isn't the body wash. This, are, this is the apple cider vinegar gummies. These are meant to be really good for, um, like, gut health. And <laughs> you're just putting your hand in front of the camera, Missy. Do you want to see? Look. And then it looks like this is wrapped up together. I'm going to save this tissue paper for gifts. It's really, really nice. Okay, I've got a real wiggly worm here. But this is the other body wash I wanted to try. I might try this tonight, even though it's energising. I'm just really intrigued by this because I've heard good things and I've been completely obsessed with the other body wash from Beauty Pie for over a year. So I think I'm going to like this and I'm intrigued to see which I prefer. And then, lastly, the triple hyaluronic acid. Um, it's like a serum. Um, and I've heard really good things about this as well. And I always want to try and get more moisture into my skin. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Oh, what wiggly legs we've got here. This is a fun game. This is the serum. Her outfit today is so cute, guys. Look at these. It's a little dungaree set. Let me show you. It's like a little dungaree set with a bear. So cute. I had every intention of showing you guys my um, shopping trip, but I think what I managed was a clip of some books. I just love reading to my baby. She loves staring at the books, and yeah, it's exciting. I saw such a great idea. I think it was from Sam and Ali. They have a YouTube channel. And they have twin boys and they also don't share their boys' like names, like real names. And that's kind of what gave me the push and the encouragement to be like, yeah, I shouldn't do it either. Because when I was pregnant with Olive, um, I considered not sharing her name. But then when we lost her, like losing a baby, you just like, maybe I can't speak for everyone. But I feel like I just need everyone to know that Olive exists and that she existed and that she's my daughter. And so not sharing her just wasn't an option after we lost her um, and that's something that I still struggle with and get those feelings of especially going to like baby group I always get asked if my littlest is my first um, and I've come to the conclusion that Olive is so special that I don't need to share her with people unless 
they're special enough and I actually just need to protect my heart so I typically say yes and then if I ever get to know these mums more then I'll tell them about Olive but sometimes when my grief is really up here and then I get asked like I just want to tell people about Olive and it's so hard sometimes I think I just wish I would just I should just say that I'm just checking on her <laughs> I've put her in her high chair we're doing some high chair practice um whilst I do this but yeah I wish I sometimes I wish I could just it just be normal just to say about Olive but you don't know how people are going to react and I don't need to subject myself to that because people you know have good intentions but also still say things that can be quite hurtful even if they don't mean to I just don't need to expose myself to that but sometimes yeah I just want to talk about Olive all the time and other times I need to keep her really close to me and just like that um complete tangent I've gone tangents all the time um the whole point of this was books god what a tangent so Ali and Sam I think they said about um this idea of doing like an advent of books so you get Christmas books you can have 24 of them I hope it was them who said it I think it was but um they you get 24 christmas books and then you can like wrap each book up and then that can be like a child's advent and then each year you can keep using the same books because they're wrapped they don't know which one they're going to get so they have them in a different order it's like a surprise of which book you're going to get as they get older they'll learn what books might be on offer they might remember some and then each year if they grow out of like a like touchy feely book or a pop-up book you just replace those books you don't have to get all new books every year and I think it's such a great idea so I've been building our collection of Christmas books a little bit maybe later on I'll show you the Christmas books I've got so far because I've been trying to pick some which are really good for her now like you know the kind of cardboard wooden ones um but that also have longevity of being able to be used for a few years so maybe we can do that later um but for now oh, I'll show you what I got <laughs> I bought quite a lot of stuff. Um, this will probably last us maybe three or four days. Four, it really depends how, how far we can stretch it. Um, firstly, birthday card and match of the day magazine for my nephew whose birthday is just after Christmas. Um, I also got him a Waterstones voucher because he loves reading too. Um, beef hula hoops for Alan to take to work. Um, for like a, a kind of lunch snack. I got these Leb Kitchen Stars. Hoping it's not too dark. I haven't got the mind open. Sorry guys. Um, but these are Leb Kitchen Stars. Tara said these are really, really good. Like yeah, Christmassy. So we're going to try these later with a cup of tea. Like she said it's like a biscuit cake. Yeah, yeah. I think I know. They're like, kind of like coating, like sugar. Yeah, I think so. And she said they're cinnamony. cinnamony. So you'll like them. Um, these are the breast breast <laughs> the breast bread breadsticks let me open the curtain oh the curtain's open it's just dark and depressing okay i've put the light on i thought the blind was closed that's how dreary the lighting is in this country these are the best breadsticks the classic torinesi breadsticks two boxes because i also got hummus basically for one of our meals i'm going to do us like a platter of like picky bits so for that, we've got olives. These are really good olives. Buy on earth. And then I also got char-grilled artichokes. We've already got carrots. I got some, well that's for something else. Let me tell you about this first. Okay, some Emmental cheese. I wanted to get a Comte cheese, but it was sold out. So we'll have some of that on the side with our platter. And then the best salami. And what else did I get for this platter? Um, hummus. So that's what the breadsticks for as well. Um, and then for another day for us to have a little salad plate, I got these vegetarian sausages. Sorry, my memory card was full, so I had to change it. What did you miss? Oh yeah, I was saying about these sausages. Um, we're not vegetarian, but we do, like if, like last week we had like quite a bit of red meat, so we tried to limit it, even though I got the salami, but I can't resist salami. Um, so for one other kind of salad plate, I've got these, if you do want vegetarian sausages, these, or I think, yeah, vegetarian, these are the really good. You wanna get the Lincolnshire sausages. Sorry, it's not focusing. 
can you see the linda mccartney lincolnshire sausages they also just do vegetarian sausages you want the lincolnshire sausages they're the good ones i just put them in the freezer and then to go with the sausages i also got a salad bag tomatoes and mozzarella and then we can also add some of the artichokes into a salad and make like a little salad from that for today's lunch i'm gonna make these beyond burger burgers i'm really craving a burger but like i said i had quite a bit of red meat last week had a burger and something else with red meat which i can't remember now um brioche buns for the burgers i got this soup which again is just the best tomato soup definitely try it if you're wanting a tomato soup this is the cully and sully creamy tomato and basil soup it's delicious um and then when we have that we'll have that with really nice like fresh bread uh, with butter and then also some boiled like dippy eggs and then i got bagels because we're gonna have cream cheese smoked salmon bagels i got crumpets those i'll have for breakfast i was not really into crumpets um i got some pickles to put with our burger i'm gonna make here's the hummus the sabra hummus ah my battery's now low and then a mixed selection of baby bell salad and tomatoes we did it that's the shop we'll see how long that lasts <laughs> I'm currently getting little ones to school. <laughs> you guys are wobbling everywhere, sorry. Um, honey, I'm just vlogging, sweetie. Um, I'm just getting some of her new clothes away and running a bath. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone and I'm gonna bathe with her basically. Don't really need to because I showered this morning. Um, but i've been wanting to have a bath with her for like two weeks i did it more when she was like newborn and if you're gonna have a baby or you have a baby i really recommend bathing with them it's so special it's such a beautiful thing to do and i haven't done it for a few weeks so i'm really looking forward to this um i normally just shower with her when we're home alone um it's so much easier i can like wash her she stays warm because she's in the shower with me and sort myself out and yeah that's really fun too and she loves that too she finds it like really fun it's like stimulating but it's a bit more relaxing this evening before bed so yeah that's the plan wrapping up i'm currently getting the bath run whilst putting her clean clothes away and then i'm just going to set up our little station for when we get out of the bath so i can just get her like changed um, and ready for bed um as quickly as possible because obviously it's quite cold at the moment and then we'll probably read a few books and try wind down for bedtime do some playtime i'll do a bit of playtime in the bath as well it's like really good sensory with the water um and then yeah just wrapping up the evening now really so yesterday i said i would go through my christmas books with you guys in case you have little ones and want to get any um we are building our collection up slowly um but first up paddington and the christmas surprise i am a huge paddington fan and definitely can't wait to get her watching um the films and reading more of the books um when she's a bit bigger yeah she's excited um and this one's really sweet and she just loves looking at the pictures and i like reading her the story um this is a good one quite big so sometimes we'll read that over two nights but it depends how she's kind of how awake she is um mog's christmas i bought this in my last vlog really like it i love the mog stories i'm definitely gonna get more of them mog is such a funny little cat if you actually haven't um, got the other Mog books, I really recommend them as well. Um, we've got Dear Santa, which is like a um, one of these books. Is it a pop-up book? Is that what you call them? And it's basically just different presents that Father Christmas is sending. And then we've got Peter Rabbit and the Christmas Star. And this one, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter are trying to decorate for their mum. And they need to build um, a star to on the top of their tree. That's really sweet. And then I've got That's Not My Elf. And this is one of the um, touchy-feely ones, which she doesn't really do yet. Um, this one's from a um, 
a second hand shop that's why it's a little bit kind of bashed up but um yeah so it got different textures so i think next year she'll be more into that and then this one i also got in a charity shop this is um, peter rabbit and the christmas present hunt and this one he is hunting for where he's hidden his presents and it's got like these pop down bits as well um and he hid them but he can't remember where he hid them so he has to go and look with his cousin benjamin sorry about the lighting guys but i really want to show you this and it's like quarter to four so it's practically dark but this is my latest vintage find a little purchase for myself rather than my little one and it's this gorgeous like dark olive green um long champ pouch i think this is the cosmetic cosmetic pouch with handle is what it's called um and these retail for i think 70 or 75 pounds and i got it for 40 and that was including postage so i got such a good price on it and basically i've seen on tiktok people um putting a strap on it either from the handlebar or puncturing a hole here and then having it as like a really small little crossbody pouch bag and I thought that was such a good idea because I can keep just like my phone and my keys in it when I'm running out with little one and just sling it on crossbody and then I've got my little bits like close with me um I did really want a speedy a Louis Vuitton speedy either 30 with the bandolier shoulder strap or a nano speedy with a shoulder strap but that's completely different price range to these so i thought i'd go with this one and see how i like it um and i'm really happy with the color and i've ordered a strap on mine and that will be coming hopefully in the next week and then i can start wearing it it's so nice i've got such a good deal on it with minted i think i'll probably wrap this video up here i've been like filming clips over probably about 10 days um so it's all very spread out and random, but I want to get this up on Sunday and then tomorrow, fingers crossed, weather agreeing, we're going to go to Common Garden um, and I'll take you guys along. Oh, it's such a shame I don't have my little crossbody strap with me now because this would be perfect. I've just tried to fit um, you guys. I call you guys vloggy because you're my vlog camera and then also my phone in here and it fits perfect. Shame it's not going to be ready for tomorrow because I haven't got the strap yet, but... Um, I'll be able to use it soon and I will see you guys soon hopefully if we can get to Comet Garden tomorrow then I'll have one more video before Christmas um but just in case baby life and everything else gets in the way um I will see you soon I hope you're well and I hope you're having a lovely festive time um however that may be and if you're also finding it challenging or having a hard time with this festive season then just know I'm there with you too. Um, and I'm sending you my love. Yeah. Bye.